Athens, Greece, uh, December of 18, a little before Christmas. This is a young gentleman who came, 35 years old, diagnosis of keratoconus for many, many years since 1999. Uses um, gas permeable contact lenses, but has had significant irritation. We can see his cone. Cornea is quite thin, 400 and a little bit more microns, significant epithelial remodeling. To uh, accommodate that, this is the right eye, will pop to the uh, left eye. A little worse picture here with minimal uh, 400 and 375 right at the cone area. We'll go and look at his uh, pendicams. What's impressive here, actually topographies, what's impressive here is that we're dealing with an extremely central cone, as you can see here uh, on the uh, left eye, and let's go to the right eye again. So he came to us uh, for to plan actually a cornea transplant since the cornea is too thin for any other intervention, but his vision has been quite stable and it corrects with a minus, uh, let's see the external pictures, minus 11, minus one at 150 to about 20, 40 in uh, the right eye and minus 13 and a half, minus half at 25 degrees at also about 20, 40. The corneas look quite good and he's at 35. So the clinical dilemma here is uh, would somebody uh, promote here the idea of a cornea transplant since he became contact lens intolerant. Would one endeavor into using a fake IOL? Looking at the um, lens star parameters, he does have the room, of course, to do this. He has uh, anterior chamber depth of uh, 325, 328, plenty room for an ICL, and his lenses are not big enough to be considered cataracts. We can also see the thickness numbers here, 409, 395 ODRS respectively. And we uh, recommended to this patient at this age, and since his cone is reportedly stable, we saw pendicams from three years ago that show no change to initially consider an ICL solution instead of a tra transplant. <clears throat> and if there's any change in the future, he can of course undergo uh, cornea cross-linking, perhaps the Athens protocol with a slight um, partial topography guided PRK to normalize the cornea uh, versus a cornea transplant. Uh, time uh, over again, we've proved that uh, it becomes a last resort. Of course, none of these treatments prohibits us of doing a transplant, but I think for the patient's best interest, that'll be the way to go. Thank you.